What's up? This is Ryan with One Board Family, and today I'm unboxing Comic Hunters from Arcane Wonders and Spin Master. I'm really excited about this property because the original release happened in Brazil in 2020, and it's now finally getting a larger release thanks to Arcane Wonders and Spin Master Games. This is finally available in the US, and people aren't going to have to try to import it or create their own copies of a print and play with a retheme. This includes so many beautiful pieces of artwork from Marvel Comics uh, over the decades. I'm really excited because as a kid, I collected comics and I was a big fan of Marvel Comics growing up. So I'm gonna be able to see artwork from, from comic books that I've got in my collection. This game is all about collecting rare comic books and coming out with the best comic collection at the end of the game. So let's bust this thing up and see what's inside and see what Comic Hunters is all about. All right, let's see what is inside. Uh, we've seen this from a lot of different publishers that they're going away from plastic packaging um, and going more toward uh, these little tabs, little uh, tape tabs. Uh, this one has two on it and so and it's pretty easy to remove. So let's see what's inside the box. First of all we have a oh this is nice. This is real nice. Check out that uh, check out that binding. That is uh, string binding along the edge of it right there. This thing's gonna stay this uh, rule book's gonna stay nice and put together. Look at that. You don't see that often. Usually rule books are stapled together. Um, that's really nice. Very classy, very classy. Anyway, uh, Comic Hunters, you're, you're gonna see a bunch of symbols right here on this uh, first page right here. Uh, these are different hero tokens and then highlight tokens, player tokens for up to four players. You can play this game solo if you wish. Um, and so this rule book, I'm gonna plow through this rule book because I wanna play this thing tonight. And so um, I'm going to be checking that out in just a little bit. Sorry for the glare. It is very a very shiny rule book. All right, this is your central board right here. Um, it looks. I don't know if there's any actual design items that are different from the Portuguese version, other than the uh, language change. Obviously, we've got we've got a tablet sitting here or a giant phone. Um, and it's showing, uh, you've got a ruler up here. Uh, you've got this right here. This, these are the four different auction areas. You have a store, you have a flea market, you have an auction site and a convention. And you're gonna be able to get different comic books from different ages based on the place that you do the draft. So this is gonna be uh, a drafting mechanic where you're collecting these comic books. So obviously the store, the store is gonna have the newer comic books. We'll, I'll show those in just a minute. You're gonna see the flea market has slightly older comics. Auction site's gonna have your oldest comics. Uh, you've got one, two, and three. And then the convention is actually gonna have a mix of one, two, and three. I believe that you're mixing in 10 from each deck into that if I'm if I'm correct. So hero tracker up here, so it'll be different each time as to which heroes are the most worth the most, uh, what's m the most collectible um, for that game. So that is your central board. Um, let's see. All right, another nice, no plastic packaging. Very nice. Just a piece of tape and biodegradable uh, bag. Let's see here. Just a chipboard right there. This is just a just a note. This is kind of flimsy, very thin. Um, a little surprised by that, but you know, hopefully it'll hold up. So all of the uh, all of the tokens um, are on there. We have. Let's dig into the cards. Let's see which one this is. This is number two. Let's go number one. Let me find number one first. I think green is number one. Yep. Number one is green. These are. The fronts of these are some of the newer comics. I believe these are like 2000s. Um, so we see here it's actually got the date on the comic book right here. 
uh, the date that it comes from, The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, this is 2010. So, and these are all comic books that you will have seen in the store, or if you collect comic books, maybe you have some of these in your collection. I'm really excited about digging into both uh, myself and my son. Uh, love just looking through comic books, new and old, seeing the artwork, the different styles. You've got Black Widow right there. You've got one of the newer ones from 2014, 2016 right there. Older looking Captain America, but from 2006. So Civil War series right there. All right, so these are the number one series cards. These are actually the newer ones. We've got series two or the second set. That's not, that's not great. Uh, miscut cards. Wow. Miscut cards all the way through. Um, that's interesting. It's been a while since I had a game where the cards were miscut that badly. Right there. Anyway, it looks like it's only some of the cards. Well, no, it looks like all of these cards. Most of these cards. Interesting. Okay. Um, these are from the 90s. These would be uh, a lot of the ones I collected as a kid. Um, I loved, I've got this one, The Amazing Spider-Man, 316. Um, that's awesome, 89. Carnage, man. Uh, each of these cards has a, has a uh, icon for who they belong to, basically what series you're collecting. So you've got Black Panther up there. You've got Captain America right there. Uh, you've got Black Widow. All right, Doctor Strange. Right there. So these are going to be the Hulk. Um, you're going to see Iron Man. You're going to see things that you know. Um, even if even if comic books isn't uh, even if comic books aren't your top thing, uh, you're going to know the properties. Um, so and then this is number three, set three. You got pieces of the production. Okay, there we go. Fun. All right, so right here, Inhumans and the Black Widow. These are going to be your auction ones. These are the ones that are going to be worth more. Uh, they are level three, uh, so these are from the 60s and 70s. I think they may go to the 80s, or I think, no, it looks like 60s and 70s uh, are where, where these come from. These are going to be the most valuable comics. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the value here this three right here, you're going to be using that value um, to to get other comics um, of maybe higher or lower value. So you can trade in a two and a one for a level three comic to put it into your collection. So everything other than the uh, miscut cards, um, it looks really nice. Uh, let's look. We've got the score pad right there for four players. This also has a solo mode that you can play. Um, uh, probably a, I, I don't know much about the solo mode, but it's probably a beat your old score, uh, solo mode scoring. So um, I'll read more on that, but it looks, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to actually be able to play this game finally in the United States. Uh, pretty pumped about playing this with the family and my son who loves comic books. I like the artwork. I like how it's all packaged up. Um, I don't know what has changed from the original Portuguese version, but I love the way it's displayed. You've got the spine of the game right here showing three different ages of comics and how Iron Man has changed over the years, how Spider-Man has changed over the years. Um, it's really cool, really cool. I love the uh, I love the style of this. So, um, if you're into comic books, even a little bit, uh, if you're into collect set collection, Comic Hunters feels like a really good one, and it's one you're going to see more 
uh, coverage of on our channel. We picked this one up at Barnes and Noble, our local Barnes and Noble. Um, so it is out in the wild. Be sure to check Barnes and Noble or uh, you can find it at Gen Con, uh, which is going on right now. Um, or if you're watching this later, you can just find it online. Look online. We'll have some links below. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. And until next time, we'll see you at the table.